All right, then I guess we're okay. Okay, let's do an intro. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Gus, Gus is, is in our hearts. hearts and, and this, this is Internet, Internet Rabbit, Rabbit Hole Daily. Yeah. And we're doing something that we should have done a whole long time ago, and yes. that's learn yeah. more about the states and territories yes. of India. So and we found, well, Alyssa's found, found this video this for video. us. Um, so we are happy yeah. to be finally learning. So this is from a channel oh, called Geography Now. India Geography. And so. it's exactly what I said. The states plus territories of India explained. Yep. And so let's So what more do we it. need to say? <laughs> Before we start, this video is sponsored by a good sponsor that we found. One that I actually believe in Ooh. and personally endorse. Cetera, it's a geography quiz game. We'll huh. get back to it later. But first, as you guys know, fun. this is a filler week video. And by popular request, we are doing the states of India. Now, nice. the thing about India is that it's actually kind of broken up quite a few times since independence from the original 14 states, mostly because of huh. the people groups or the languages, stuff like that. So before we get into this, just keep in mind, I am not Indian. I have never even been to India. So in order to make this video, I had to talk to a lot of you guys. I've read a lot of your emails and comments and I compiled as much information as I possibly could. Based Sounds like a good way to do guys, things. Yeah. Indian geography peeps have said. So kind of, you know, if I get anything wrong, it's, you know, kind of your fault. <laughs> so let's just jump into it. The 29 states and the seven union territories. Andhra Pradesh, the capital of Maravati. Now this is an interesting state because it kind of has like the fastest growing uh. GDP in all of India, over 16% in the past few years. Over here, they speak Telugu and this guy wrote I've this. I've never even heard of that I've never even language. heard of that language. Telugu. Oh my gosh. Must yeah. be a lot of different languages spoken. Well, I, I got the sense that there was a lot of languages spoken as soon as we started looking for the right version of KGF because we realized there was like, what, yeah. six or seven different versions depending on the language. So mm -hmm. clearly there are a lot of languages spoken in India. Play, which is kind of considered like the most prominent Telugu play in all of Indian history. Otherwise, they're famous for the Kuchipudi dance, one of the eight classical Kuchipudi. styles of Indian dance. Cool. And, uh, yeah, they have great beaches and caves. Uh, Pradesh. Capital. It's just, I wish there was more. The picture's so small. Mm -hmm. Like the region and stuff. You know, I, I, I'm going to guess that this is basically about states and territories. Just like everything we watch when it comes to sort of the history yeah. or the geography, is we sort of get the gist of it, but then we got to dig in a little bit deeper on our own time. Because you're right, he's going through this quite quickly but it, it's really nice to see some of these like words and 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 names that i've seen pop up and finally get a sense of sort of where they fit in into the bigger picture yeah, these, he's going from like east maybe to west or east oh. to south to west we to will north. find out won't we but these are like the farthest like eastern territories of india i guess Itangar. This is the region that's kind of disputed with China, although it is administered by India. In order to get in as a foreigner, you will need a restricted area permit. Otherwise, culturally, it kind of takes cues from Tibet, you know, the whole like Buddhism thing going on. There's quite a few Buddhists here. People here are super friendly. They're famous for their wood carvings and their carpets. Assam, wow. capital, Dispur. Now, if you watch the India episode, you'll know that I talked about the seven sisters in Northeast India. Assam is kind of like the big sister. This place is known for disputably having the nicest tea and silk. And the silks are kind of made based off of what they actually feed the silkworms. It's interesting. They're also known for preserving so the weird. incredible Rhinos. rare one-horned Indian rhinoceros. And uh, the longest bridge opened up in 2017. Oh, wow. Assam. It's awesome. Bihar. <laughs> oh, Bihar. We know Bihar. It's yeah. kind of like the Buddha state. Lots of famous sites for Buddhism. Supposedly, they have the Bodhi tree that Siddhartha Gautama sat under. Otherwise, on the Hindu side, I was told that they're very big on Ram and Krishna. I was also told that they're very hardworking people. Chattiskar, capital Naya Raipur. Mm. From what I was I've told, heard of this, this one is before kind too. of like a somewhat militant-ish type of area. Oh. They're known for producing a lot of coal and they oh. are kind of one of the poorest states. And there is a noticeable community of people that kind of have Maoist slash Naxal mm. ideologies and it kind of clashes with the main Indian government. What's what Maoist one? again? Is that like it, It's um, like Chinese communist sort of thing. Oh. As I understand it, yeah. Guys, generally the people here are just nice, but there's just a little bit of controversy, that's all. Goa. This is the Vegas of No, I have oh, heard of Goa really? too. It's such a tiny little thing uh, on the It's just wee yeah. tiny, eh? Yeah. All right. Or Portuguese. Yeah, I didn't even see it there. And, uh, <laughs> it's magnifying no glass. We're gonna have to ruin that. Yeah, let's see that again. The Vegas of India. At first I, I honestly didn't even notice that he was he was pointing anything out on the map. But there's yeah, a little we'll it's, see here. It's in that's red. Goa. Oh it's like my that gosh! Tiny little thing on the yeah, on okay, the west I, I, coast. I see it now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
This is the Vegas of India. It was a former Portuguese colony, okay. and uh, now it's known for having a ton of Russian tourists that just flock over oh. and take over everything. Great beaches, <laughs> bars, and cool things happening. But the funny thing is the people in Goa, like the actual citizens, are pretty chill and normal. It's just the tourists that give it the crazy vibe. Oh, interesting. It's interesting, like, why specifically a lot of Russian tourists go to that specific place? It's mm -hmm. interesting. Well, it must have been very, uh, maybe perhaps it was uh, quite westernized because didn't he say that that was once the a, Vegas of India? So I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's so it, maybe they're sort of more comfortable there. Maybe the uh, the right sort of amenities have been set up for Westerners in mind. Hmm. Goa. It's like where everybody wants to go to for a vacation. You want to <laughs> go uh, to Goa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gujarat, capital Gandhinagar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is yeah. from here. Yeah, now, this I've heard that before. Oh, this is where he's from. First of all, it's kind of like a desert and they have one of the largest salt deserts in That's the world. That's so cool. They have this forest, which has the last of the Asiatic lions in the world. Oh, I forgot Gandhi was also from here. Oh, They're wow. one of the number oh. one ease of business state in India. The people here are very good at doing business and they're really good at trading. Also, no alcohol is allowed out in this state, but that's okay because holy wow, that's intense. No alcohol in the whole that's state. Intense. I did not they, know. Like the state has its own prohibition. I guess so. I think he's about alcohol? to explain to that's us why. Mm -hmm. They go to one of the union territories that we'll talk about later. But yeah, basically, uh, wait, they go to like a union go somewhere state? else to buy their uh, booze and then and then uh, they bring it back. You're, are you allowed to drink there though? Could you get caught? I'm, sh I'm not really That's sure. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, the great thing about uh, a video like this yeah. is it gives us so many ideas for other videos. Like I'm already thinking like, oh, we got to do a video on the longest bridge. We've got it. <laughs> yeah. Like there's so much here to unpack. Oh yeah. Really good at trading. Also, no alcohol is allowed in this state, but that's okay because they go to one of the union territories that we'll talk about later. Yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, people that can handle oh. money really well come from Gujarat. Haryana, capital Haryana, China, which is shared with Punjab. Long story. Haryana, I was told, is kind of like the rougher, tougher brother of Punjab. It's ah. known as like the wrestling and boxing capital of India. And they have one of the highest male to female sex ratios, like there's more men than women. <laughs> and this place is famous for having a lot of people that are hired to become bodyguards for other people in oh, other interesting. states. Like, this is the bodyguard state. Himachal <laughs> Pradesh, which has two capitals. The summer one, Shimla, and the winter one, Dharamshala. Hmm. This is kind of known There's as- There's a summer capital and winter capital? Yeah, I've never it, heard of such a thing. Wow. Yeah, so I guess they sort of have two capitals, That's, and depending on what time of year it is, wow. maybe you'd rather be in one over the other. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Is that the Dalai Lama right there? Mm -hmm. State that hosts the Dalai Lama. But it's actually kind of known as like the beautiful holiday destination that Indians love to visit. It's known as the abode of snow, mm. one of the snowiest mm. places in all of India. Oh, wow. Culture wise, again, they take a lot of cues from their Tibetan neighbors up north. But yeah, uh, cool state, lots of culture, lots of beautiful landscape. Uh, people like to visit for, for uh, vacations. Jammu and Kashmir also has two capitals. The summer one, Srinagar, and the winter one, Jammu. I have to be very, very careful with this one. Why? Because if you watch the India episode, you'll know that Pakistan and China and India are all kind of vying for ownership of this one. Yeah, area. that's oh, as I. What's the one area called again? It, ja, well, I, I, Jammu. I usually, I usually just hear it uh, referred to as the Kashmir. So oh. I. Uh, but um, it's, yeah, he's, I guess what he's saying is this is contentious territory or this is a contentious issue because there's many people that are vying for this territory or believe that they have uh, rights to it. But right now it is an Indian territory. That's the sense huh. I'm getting here. Wow. The area that is kind of operated by India, we'll talk about. Besides Lakshadweep, it has the highest percentage of Muslims in all of India at about 68%. It used to be ruled under these princely states. And it's funny because like the people here are so nice and welcoming, even though they've gone through like multiple wars. But yeah, it's oh, like wow. the world's most beautiful well, conflict zone. Jharkhand, <laughs> capital Ranchi. It's kind of oh, like broke off uh, from the Bihar. something of Chhattisgarh. The, a lot of the people here kind of also have the same Maoist ideology. However, it also does have one of the holiest sites in Jainism. Well, have you pronounced it? Shik the Shikharji. We need to learn about Jainism. Oh. Minerals that they mine and uh what that was that? one of the other religions mm -hmm. that uh what was the the video series that we watched we watched the one on on sikhism we mm -hmm. watched the one hinduism. on hinduism and there is oh cogito and i believe there's also one on jainism so we're going to have to check that oh, out yeah. soon yeah i've never actually like heard of that yeah. religion yeah Famous cricketer Dhoni came from here as well. Karnataka, capital Bengaluru, formerly known as Bangalore. The capital Bengaluru is kind of known- Bangalore, that's what they're talking about in KGF. Oh. Formerly known. Gotcha. Because KGF is sort of like in the like 70s. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, it must have been Bangladore back then. There you go. See, check, check out if you guys have. Oh a, yeah, just a bit of a we, shout out here. Yeah. We reacted to KGF Chapter One. That's right. Whole, well, we who knows how many even, parts will be will be up to yeah, at this point? But you guys got to check it out. Still reacting to it, but <laughs> yeah, there's a playlist as like the Silicon Valley of India. So many IT companies and startups hmm. are coming out in this city and they have the lowest unemployment rate in all of oh, India wow. at less than 1%. Otherwise they're not- Wow, that's, that's really win. low. Mm -hmm. And uh, they speak Kannada. Kannada. Oh. Is that how you I was told- Okay, what's this region called again? Yeah. What's um, it called again? I Bella, what was the new the way of pronouncing was, it? Go back a bit. Well, it's the one that's formerly Bangladesh, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that makes sense because KGF's in. That's why it's in yeah. Canada. That's the native language yeah. that we decided to choose. I know a few of them were like, "Hey, maybe you guys could do the Hindi version or something," but we yeah. really wanted to go with the native language, and we did have quite a few people saying, "Hey, you guys got to do the original one, um, or at least start there." Yeah, so. yeah. Canada, but some people have said Canada. <laughs> like, what is it? Kerala, capital, Tiruvananthapuram. Tiruvananthapuram. Say that three times fast. Oh my gosh. Tiruvanan tapuram. Tiruvanan tapuram. Well, this place is kind of name. famous for being known as the spot where Jesus' apostle Thomas kind of landed and spread the Christian Oh, gospel. really? And today uh, you see kind of wow. like Catholics and Christians. Oh, wow. And they all kind of speak Malayalam. A little bit of a tongue twister. A whole other me. language. <laughs> Jeez. Another, like, yeah. whoa, so many different languages. Very Malayalam. diverse country, it's isn't it? Malayam uh. or Malayam, it's Malayalam. Backwater is a very famous place. And yeah, Kerala is kind of like the state that's like doing pretty well overall in a lot of things like literacy and HDI and all that other stuff. Mm. All the other states are like, hmm, maybe we can kind of take pointers from Kerala. Madhya Pradesh, mm. capital Board, Bhopal. Like the technologically heart. advanced, he's saying? That uh, I think he, he's just sort of saying that there's certain metrics that they're, uh, you know, doing quite well on. And maybe other states are saying, hey, I wonder what they're doing. And maybe we could do it in our state. Mm. India. Oh, uh, wait, the heart of India. What's this one? They're like, hmm, maybe we can kind of take pointers from Kerala. Madhya Pradesh, capital. Boba. Madhya Pradesh. The heart of India. The history state with tons of religious and historical sites. You have the Bimbetka rock oh. shelters. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kajuraho temples, which kind of depicts all those, uh, you know, Kama Sutra. Ooh, hello. <laughs> going on. See what a he's doing there, he's coming to move. You mentioned the Bhopal okay. gas tragedy that happened in 1984. Mm. Uh -oh. And I was oh, also wow. told- What was that? that? A gas tragedy. Uh -oh. So I'm wondering if maybe- uh, Explosion or something? You know, maybe maybe an explosion, maybe uh, just sort of the gas was was let true, loose. Uh, I don't know. Uh, sexually explicit image is going on. A lot of you have told me to mention the Bhopal gas tragedy that happened in 1984. And I was also told that the people here seem to be really big devotees of Ganesh Maharashtra. Ganesh, Ganesh. is another religion? No, no, that would be one of the Hindu, Hindu. gods, I believe. Yeah, okay, because so, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, because it looked like, I know, I recognize We've that seen Ganesh God. before. It's the elephant yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just forgot that's what it was called. To be really big devotees of Ganesh Maharashtra, capital Mumbai. This is uh, the richest state and the second most populous, third largest in area. It's kind of like the New York and Los Angeles of together. It's like the economic hub and the entertainment hub. Bollywood is over here. Tons of people flock over to pursue their dreams. Uh, I mean, aside from all that though, they do have a lot of like Marathi forts and like historical sites as well. Cool. But yeah, Maharashtra is kind of like the central nucleus that every Everything kind of builds off hmm. of and expands outwards from. It pushes India forward. Manipur, capital Impal. This is one of the seven sister states. Yeah, we're moving back here, to- Just like all the other seven mm, sisters yeah. have a little bit more of like an East Asian look to them. They're known for having their own distinct hill tribes. Five-time world amateur boxing champion, Mary Kom came from here. They're also known for having these cool floating islands. What? Floating islands and boxing women. Megalaya, mm -hmm. capital Shillong. This place is known as the abode of rain. And yes, they have like trees. The bridges, water okay. people of India. Rainforest? These two villages oh, get wow. the most rain in all of India. Wow. They have really interesting matrilineal tribes and matrilineal. cool foggy hills. Oh. But yeah, cool hill people with their own customs. Cool bridges. And, That's uh, one of those big water. bridges there Mizoram, that they grew. Izov, the land of Blue Mountains. They grew this the bridge. It was like tree roots. Yeah, yeah. So, with, so, so we saw the longest bridge like in the world before. Now we're yeah. seeing a tree bridge. We got a lot to look oh into my here. Goodness.
her people. Mizoram, capital Izov, the land of blue mountains. This is the most forested state in all of India at over 90%. Whoa. Pretty eco-friendly. They even have eco tours. It's kind of like the Costa Rica of India. The people here are just really chill and they just kind of like sell their handicrafts at the market. All right, so that's the halfway point. Just very quickly before we move on to the next one, just want to say thank you to- Oh my Cetera, gosh. Our sponsor for this can video. Can we skip Cetera the sponsor? Really no, no, we cannot. That you can actually download on Android or iOS. If this guy's going to take all the time, time to make this wonderful website. video know, for us. Tons of games you can choose from here. You got a lot of things like regions. And this is kind of interesting too, because because I'm thinking like, how am I ever going to remember this all? Quiz. Geography now this is a quiz. That, yeah, and I'm thinking. Oh, so it's his own sort of company, like a Geography Now well, game. I, I don't think it's it's his. I think it's just no, a no, sponsor no. of his. He but. said there's a Geography Now game. Uh -huh. His channel's Geography Now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, or he gets his Maybe own you can make your own of sort of. Yeah. What I think would be cool is to do something like this just with India because it's going to take mm -hmm. me a while to figure out the names and sort of where they are, they're located. Mm -hmm. Something like this could we help. We should do a contest. We'll both study and oh, we'll wow. do a quiz. To see who can remember who, all the. Yeah, see who wins. Okay. Geography Now game. Not only that, but the game also comes in 34 different languages. It's really fun. Oh. I totally recommend you guys check it out. Cool. Go to. We're going to have to check that out. .com. Nagaland, capital Kohima. Mm. This is like the most Christian state of India, mm. but they also still kind of retain their own indigenous tribal cultures and customs, famous for the Hornbill Festival. And it's funny because like, they're very westernized, but they know that the tourists come in and so they kind of have to like put on their traditional costumes <laughs> and put on a show. But it's like, hey, eh, whatever, eh, whatever makes us money. Odisha, <laughs> what? known as Orissa, capital Bhubaneswar, known as the land of cyclones. It's also known for being like the ISRO's launch site. Oh, wow. For their satellite cyclones is a type of hurricane or something yeah i'm gonna say yes okay. mini a mini one or something i'm liking Rams. this though this is one well. of the three states that never broke up throughout all of indian statehood history it's kind of known as like the state that bridges the north and south they speak the oria language another oria. language and mangrove park where you can find like tigers and elephants probably um. the most famous landmark being the sun temple of konark punjab capital chandigarh ah. keep in mind this is only part of the larger punjab territory which is also shared with Pakistan. A lot of you guys right. have stuff to say about Punjab. Overall, but is he talking about Punjab? Punjab. Punjab. Uh, the I, Punjab is Yeah, I think was Punjab was traditionally was. the sort of I the guess. area. Um, yeah. I, I see it now more referred to as just the Punjab, right? But. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of you said that Punjab is probably the most loved state in India, partially thanks to Bollywood. They got really good food, really nice people. They have the largest Sikh community in all of India. They also have the holiest site in wow. Sikhism, the Golden, the Golden Temple. Temple. And there's a ton of forts and palaces like this one. Rajasthan. Everybody's Temple, loving the Punjab. Mm -hmm. The land of Rajas or kings. It's the largest state in area at 341 square kilometers. It is also one of the states that never broke up. And there are just endless forts and palaces. In this state, it has things like a camel fair. Supposedly, I was told they have like henna. henna artists. Keep in uh. mind, food wise, they keep things very spicy, and it <laughs> is uh -oh. at 75% of the population the most vegetarian. Oh, wow, 75%. Wow. That's a lot of Sikkim, people. Capital Gangtok. Now, this is an interesting one because it kind of joined India in 1975 to kind of avoid the Chinese. Mm. It used to be its own kingdom, and these people are very similar to the people of Bhutan. They can kind of generally understand each other's language. Lots of uh, Tibetan Buddhist type of culture going on here as well. And it is, as of right now, the most environmentally friendly state in all of India. Wow. It is almost completely organic. Yay. As in, they don't believe in using chemicals or pesticides. I want to go there. Yeah, geez. Every Can we move there, please? <laughs> Wow, well, yeah. Please. I mean, we'd spend a whole lot less on organic food. I'm sure there. It's just normal priced. <laughs> in their agriculture, very clean air, they love nature, and they love, uh, they're just, it's, it's kind of like the Bhutan of India. Very interesting. Tell what was it again? I gotta go back to this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and so you can circle that. Uh, yep. Capital Chennai. Now, if you want real like South Dravidian Indian culture, you come here. This is like straight up the Southern capital hmm. of India. The main language they speak, of course, is Tamil, Mil. which is completely unintelligible to Hindi. They have what? so wow. many temples, including the largest functioning Hindu temple in the world. Technically, uh. Angkor Wat is a bigger Hindu temple, but it's no longer active, so it kind of doesn't count. Uh, I was told they are big fans of Rajnik Ant. Telangana, okay. capital Hyderabad, <laughs> the youngest state of India. 
India. They literally split up from Andhra Pradesh in 2014. I was told it's kind of like the whole, you know, Catalina Spain thing where they're like, hey, we're making a lot of money, but you guys are dragging us down. So we're going to kind of split off and make our own thing. And then Andhra Pradesh was like, no, you can't do that. And they're like, yes, we can. And we're going to take Hyderabad. They're like, no, you can't do that. And like, yes, we can make your own capital. Yeah, messy divorce. Anyway, <laughs> they're also famous for Tollywood. I've never Hollywood. heard of Hollywood. And it's interesting because they still kind of retain a little bit of the Persian culture that was brought over from the Mughals and Nizams. You can find it in things like the painting and their shadow puppets. Tripura, capital Agartala. I was told, is this even India? It's like the state that very few people even know much hmm. about. It's well. like all sides of their state are surrounded by Bangladesh. Wow. Shocker, they have a lot of Bangladeshi immigrants. Mm. Uh, apparently I was told they like to play horse polo. But yeah, uh, I think out of all the states, uh, they are kind of like the biggest anomaly. It's just like the mystery state. People probably come here to hide out, <laughs> avoid the authorities when they're on the loose. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. He's Uttar he's Pradesh, just capital <laughs> Lucknow. This is it's a big the state. Taj Mahal state. And it's kind mm -hmm. of like, a, of oh, dang, sure. mm -hmm. where did that baby boom come from? You guys just like exploded in population in the past few years. And now it is the most populous state. It's also home to Varanasi. Really? The most famous uh, cities in the world for Hinduism, Jains, and Buddhists. And uh, yeah, a lot of fertile land over here. Lots of spices and agriculture happen in this state. Very key, important player in all of India. You cannot have India without Uttar Pradesh. Uttarakhand, capital Dehradun. This place actually has some of the holiest sites in all of Hinduism. It has the Jim Corbett National Park. Beautiful mountains. Again, I was told these people Jim are super Corbett. nice. Very Not, who's that? I don't know, but maybe you guys can let us know. <laughs> welcoming and I was specifically told to tell you guys that Urvashi Ratala is from this state. West Bengal, capital Calcutta or Kolkata. They changed the spelling. This is the last state that never broke up in all of India. <laughs> technically, if you consider the fact that it broke up from East Bengal, which became Bangladesh. But yeah, these people are kind of also known for having some sweets. of the best sweets Ooh. in all of India. And they're also known for having some of the best literature and academics. Some of the greatest minds from India, like this guy came from here. They're also known for being very strong devotees to Durga. Sweets Durga. And academics. Is another religion? I don't know. Or no, I think it's maybe a god as well. Goddess yeah. of Hinduism, right? Yeah, I, I think so, but okay. uh, of course, you guys will let us know if we're wrong. It's interesting, like, yeah, I guess certain regions um, seem to have focus. a favored god or goddess. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm confused that it's like a, they're talking about like a whole different religion, but. Maybe it's just the goddess it's they just, resonate they with lean most. More I don't towards know. one of the gods or goddesses. Yeah, like I said, Hinduism. a lot to, lot to chew into yeah. here. Now we reach the Union Territories. The uh, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, capital Port Blair. This place is known for being home <gasps> to one of the last uncontacted I remember that. tribes on Earth, the Sentinelese. Really? You are not allowed to visit their island. It's also home to India's only volcano, Chandigarh. I have no idea. It's the wow, they're one of the last uncontacted tribes, right? Yeah, as I understand it though, That's when insane. people came back- How does it happen? How do they just, they just, they were on that island and they just were so, um, isolated because they were on the island that they never were ever a part of like the well, as um, far as developed I, world, as far as I know, they would have contact with other indigenous groups. So they would know, you know, to an extent about the outer world and yeah. things on the, now what I heard with this particular tribe was that they came back a while later to see what was going on and they had disappeared so that we're, we're not quite sure what happened. What? At least the ones we just saw in that picture. That's what I heard. Maybe you guys know more than I do. Well, since this video came out even, yeah. They disappeared. Like yeah, like I heard. Well, I don't know. They, they don't know. Them. Yeah, they that's have, what I heard. Could they have studied? Because they took those pictures of them sort of, uh, so just, you know, shouting at the airplanes or yeah. helicopters or Did whatever. And then around? when they came back again, they were gone. So I don't know what happened. Like they know about them from flying in the. Yeah, flying in the have area. Have they ever had like a firsthand encounter? Not that accident, I'm aware of. Like found the it's, island. It's some real fascinating stuff. Whoa. I have looked into some of yeah, these I'd untouched tribes because that. there's a whole controversy over do we contact them or not? No, it, just let them be. So these are. These are some of the questions that uh, people are asking. Yeah. As soon as they have a taste of like sugar, they're done for. Uh oh. Yeah. All our unhealthy stuff, like alcohol, it, like we're just going to mess up their lives, I think. Well, I the, don't know how well they're doing though. Maybe this is, they this could... is a total like side tangent. Sorry. But, if, but if someone needs medical care I and know. you're able to provide it, that's where, you know, things get tough, doesn't it? So. Yeah, it sucks capital of both Punjab and Haryana, but it's also a union territory in itself. Basically, this was a plan Punjab and Haryana. Built because they gave Lahore to Pakistan. And it was kind of made to be like a model of affordable housing in India. It's a, it's a new city. Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. There's the interesting thing. Gujarat, like I mentioned, does not allow alcohol. Maharashtra does. So where do they meet in the middle? These union territories. Wow. <laughs> kind of known as like the places where both 
states can kind of join together and have a beer. And uh, the man- Is it actually another division, a union territory? There's actually like a territory in between the two states? I'm trying to connect. Th- th- they're also, it sounds like there's a capital there, but it's a capital for two states. So I'm, yeah. I think there's, it's sort huh. of like we've got the states and then we've got these other sort of subsections within that. Well, Cause like in Canada, we have provinces and territories and mm-hmm. the territories are basically sort of just provinces, but they're just sort of called territories. Like they're, they look yeah, like yeah. states. They're yeah. like states, provinces they're like states so they've got some different designations here but we're learning they're almost referring to territories as some different type of indicator not that it's just like a state and they Mm -hmm. call it well you know for example we're here in british columbia but we're more technically in the central interior so you know it's like we've got different ways of yeah we have you know regions yeah so i mean it's the yeah i'm I'm sort of trying to figure this all out but it's Mm -hmm. a lot to take in that's for sure Mm -hmm. And uh, Daman and you, I think it was also Portuguese, wasn't it? Yeah. Lakshad Weep means a hundred islands. Basically, oh. in a nutshell, the majority of people here are Muslim and they're very similar to the people of the Maldives. So you find a lot of atolls and a lot of people living on these narrow sandbanks and they have like an island culture. The capital territory of Delhi. Keep in mind that this is a separate oh. entity from New Delhi. Oh, yeah, I didn't uh, know that. Kind of basically mm. where all the politicians go and the worst drivers in India, <laughs> I was supposedly told. And even though they are a territory, they still have their own legislative assembly. It's, it's weird. But yeah. But okay. Is New Delhi a city? And this Delhi is the territory he's talking about? <sighs> or is New Delhi a state? <laughs> We're so bad. Busy people making laws, causing controversy for the rest of the country. And finally, Puducherry, capital Pondicherry. This is the French speaking area of India. What? You can also find Oroville. I didn't know there was a French speaking area of India. That's now you do. There's so many languages spoken in India. The hippie village where all the people kind of came together and they wanted to make their own utopia. <laughs> and there was a little bit of controversy. I love yeah, that sort of Epcot sort of yeah, ball French there. Yeah. And that is that. Once Oof. again, thank you to you guys, all the Indian geography peeps that helped me out with this video by giving information. I hope I got most of it right. But yeah, in a nutshell, India has so many different types of people groups and languages and cultures and traditions and customs. Mm-hmm. It's like you can't summarize it all in one video. And obviously this one didn't even scratch the surface. But for what it's worth, beautiful country and I'm so glad and honored to have done this video. Thank you. Stay cool. Stay Ooh, tuned. Very cool. Well, thank you. Uh, geography now. Yeah, geography now. That was a good video. Yeah, that was really well done. I'll, I'll be honest though. It's like instead of maybe uh, giving me a bunch of answers, it's almost like I have more questions know, now than anything. There's just there was, but but it's good because there's yeah. things that we didn't know about and now we know what questions to ask. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to keep learning more about India. Yeah. If you guys are enjoying us, you want to maybe learn an- more about answer India. some of those questions in the comments. Yeah, you can let us know down there. Um, and if you want to keep on top of this sort of stuff moving forward, well, then we're going to ask you to click that subscribe button. Click the little bell icon. Choose all from the drop down menu so you can get updated every time, time we, we upload, upload a new video. video. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking the thumbs up. And like we just said, leave your comments. Comments down, down below. below. So where do we go next, guys, if we want to get more of an understanding of the different yes, territories in India? Maybe you guys have some videos for us. This is Internet, Internet Rabbit, Rabbit Hole Daily. Daily. All right, sign, sign up. up. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys.